welcome back. Welcome to the feline arc part three. Uh, did I plan on making this video? Uh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I just ended up um, getting busted here in Smite Assault and this turned out to be a really fun game um, with some very interesting uh, stories happening throughout it. I don't want to go dive too deep into it, I just want you to watch and see how the game unfolds. Um, but yeah, I, I had a lot of fun and I just felt like it's so, it's worth sharing with you. And since it's busted again, you know, we had the feline arc part one and two, why not make it part three, I suppose, right? Um, but yeah, as I said, um, we are playing Assault here. Um, so... Unlike the other two parts, um, we can't go back to base. Um, the other two parts were both arena. Um, let's see what we grab here. We grab bluestone, which is a really good item, I think. Um, it just makes your uh, damaging abilities hit a bit harder. And then we also go for... Um, well, now I don't remember that name of that item. It's basically a stacking item um, that gives you healing. So it is... At the beginning, not super strong, but since it's a stacking item, it's definitely worth um, getting it very early into the game. So you get your stacks quickly so that it evolves and you can actually um, make use uh, um, of it uh, for the rest of the game. So, yeah. As you can see, um, we have a tank in, in Maui. Um, we do have Son Wukong, we do have Ma uh, Matikoras and... Um, Freya. I, I would argue that Freya and Matikra are both very strong. Um, one may magical ADC, a uh, regular ADC, maybe a bit more ability focused uh, Matikra than um, some other ADCs are, but definitely a, a very good character. Um, overall, I, I would argue we have a pretty good team. Uh, the enemy team also pretty good, um, maybe a bit um, lackluster on physical damage. They basically only have the um, Medusa that really does uh, physical damage. So that's a bit of a weakness on their part, but um, yeah, it's also not too bad. So yeah, early game, uh, I, I do think we can do things. Um, we have a good amount of poke um, with our jump. As you know from the other games, we have a good engage and disengage. Um, a bit scary um, is that they have a Nox, which can silence me um, when I want to jump back. So with that circle that you just saw, that can be very, very terrifying as a um, bust that you can be out of position so quickly. Um, that Cthulhu a bit too greedy here with this ultimate, yeah. Uh, he ends up falling. I don't know, if, if you are uh, the Cthulhu in that moment, you might want to stop your ultimate and use your dash to get out. We get the kill here on Medusa. Um, yeah, just cleaning up there basically. Not like we did a whole lot there, but definitely a, a good kill to get here. Unfortunate for the Freya here. But yeah. So overall, uh, first engagement is a two for two. Um, a little bit unfortunate. I feel like we should have gotten out of this with a two for one at least. I feel like the Freya death was a bit unnecessary, but it's okay. I mean, at the end of the day, stuff like that happens. And especially on Freya, I feel like she's like with her immobility and, and all that. It can be a bit tricky sometimes. Now, Matikora's falling as well, so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, puts us behind. But yeah, not a, not too big of a deal, obviously. Jumping onto the Nux, so I don't know how we missed that one. I have no idea. Um, yeah, we have to run now. This is a pretty bad situation. Yeah, we are circled in nice free here on the Medusa. We get a good amount of damage, jump onto her. Good amount of damage. I don't get the ultimate onto her. She gets it onto me though and kills me. Yeah, uh, my bad. <laughs> Honestly, I uh, was a bit of my my fault. 
I, I could have just jumped out there, right? Um, instead, I got greedy. I wanted to get a kill <laughs> onto the Medusa and jump onto her. If I just jump over her, I'm out and I'm totally fine. But yeah, you know me, I'm a greedy girl sometimes and that ends up killing me. <laughs> okay, well, our items are almost stacked up. Um, I think next item we go for is either going to be anti-heal or some cooldown reductions, either going to be Jordans or, god, why can I not think of the item names right now? Or brawlers? <laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll see. Both definitely items that are very much worth it. Um, I don't... I mean, Crusher is, is good on Bastard as well. I'm just not too sold on her. Um, on it, um, on her. Be mainly because I don't really auto-attack with her a whole lot. I really am using mainly her abilities um, for damage, so... And I feel like with Crusher, you of course you get the, the penetration out of it and the passive, but you don't make any use of the attack speed if you. So I, I don't know. I just feel like uh, there are better items than. Jumping in, good too here. Hitting everybody just for the poke, being a menace. Ah, too bad. That ultimate was pretty good. Um, The Faf just. Being aware of it and making sure he dodges it, so yeah, as you as you can see, it's a it's a rough game for us at the moment. Um, it's two uh, two to eight getting kills. I'm definitely trying my best here, <laughs> but um, yeah, not not that easy. We managed to clean up, um, but yeah, okay. We kill the uh, the Cthulhu, but also um, lose our Freya in the process. She's having a rough time. Um, but yeah. Jumping in, getting some poke again. Not, um, and the kill on Faf. Awesome. Throwing the cat at him. <laughs> and Wukong also gets a kill, so that's, that's perfect. Um, now we finally have been able to scoop up two kills without dying ourselves. So. Big yay! <laughs> uh, big greedy from a tea for us. I, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Um, yeah. He did get the kill on the Medusa, so that's okay. Um, if he doesn't get the kill, it would have been kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, not, not quite sure what he does there. Um, you're not killing anybody here, Cthulhu. And you have an Apwa who's half health and scared. Right, Felisto? Um, because he is dying. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was just sitting there waiting for him to, to step up. Um, I could tell the Cthulhu won't do anything against my team, right? Um, by himself. And sure, I could have gone for the Cthulhu, I suppose. But at the end of the day, I don't think we would have had the kill potential either. So we do have it here, though, obviously. <laughs> yeah, nice kill. Nice jump onto him, the ultimate before that. Really good, so. Um, worked out perfectly, but... But yeah, but sometimes you just have to to wait a second like I did earlier with the um, Aqua. Definitely more our target than the Cthulhu usually. <laughs> yeah, probably the, the first time that he actually got his uh, ability used, so... <laughs> oh god. You're welcome, Maui. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, just sitting here and waiting. It is a bit tricky. Um, like if they just stand on the tower, I don't think there's a whole lot I can do unless they are poked enough or something, or I can go for poke. But good ultimate on Fab's part here. Yeah, left lane should be a bit careful, but he goes in. Um, so maybe we can help. I don't know. We jump in. We get the two on two people it's not quite enough damage yeah and that's the moment where you're like oh god i it would be so nice if i could just go back to base <laughs> yeah as you can see we are sitting on three thousand 
Nicely waited. We hit the two, we hit the one. The fuck dies. This is too bad though. This is unfortunate. Um, we end up dying. I don't get me wrong. Like there was no way we lived here. <laughs> like I, I knew that for certain. But if I hit the ultimate, um, I clean up the Medusa as well. We get two for one kills, right? So absolutely worth it. I I miss it though because I'm apparently a bot. <laughs> nah, I I don't know. This is was so close i i definitely should have hit um the medusa there i don't know how i missed that one whatever and as you can see freya is is <laughs> not um feeling it anymore um yeah she's struggling a bit um but yeah we can't win is what she's saying um yeah but but as you can tell like um some Wukong and I are not feeling it and I think very rightly so like this game is not over yet. Um we do get the kill here um on the Medusa. Um Maui falls in the process as well, but still worth it, still still good trade for us. Um especially since now we also get the, the um Nox, so that's awesome. That looked a bit awkward. <laughs> not quite sure what happened with my jump there. Um it's okay though. I, I don't think we had the kill potential anyways. It was more like I wanted to go for poke. And um, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not quite sure what he was feeding there. We hit the ultimate on the aqua. He uses his beats in order to keep himself alive, but that's not enough. Um, he ends up falling. Sun Wukong diving pretty deep. I'm not quite sure this is the way to go. Um, yeah, we should be fine though. Yeah, look, looks good. Um, but as you can see, I did eat a lot of damage. Um, kind of want to go for the jungle buff, but my team is all full health, so also feels feels a bit bad to just take it. Um, yeah, nah, we're we're not going to surrender. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Freya. I don't know. It's. I mean, we are behind in kills and all, um, but it feels like uh, we have these situations where we're really um, pushing them back, where we get our kills as well. It feels like a very even game overall, honestly. Um, that being said, um, I kind of get the Freya. I, I know how it feels to Freya if you fall behind like that. She feels really, really uh, rough to play. Like she's either either you snowball with her pretty hard and end up killing everybody, or it's literally you fall behind so much that you, yeah, f feel basically useless. And um, so I kind of understand it. On the other hand, <laughs> she can should also uh, be considerate and understand that we feel this isn't over yet. Anyways, enough talk about this. Uh, let's talk about the game again. Um, yeah. This ultimate, I don't know, Aqua. I don't, I don't know if that's worth it. Um, I feel like he should have kept that longer. I missed my ultimate completely. That's that's too bad. And instead, get up, <laughs> end up getting a fuck hold into my face. Yeah, yeah that's that's what you like to see. Um, just getting completely obliterated by uh, the Birdman. So <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I don't know. This is. I guess that's kind of like what you get for missing your ultimate there <laughs> the way i did oh god yeah not my strong suit in, in um in this one in this round i suppose yeah matikura's very out of position there i think he's sitting in one of his bushes but they are not like protecting you um forever yeah he ends up falling Oof. yeah definitely not a game um that we just win by default um this takes effort and i think we still have a good chance though Jumping on their heads again. Gotta be careful here. It's it's really risky. Um, 
when you jump in as fast as the the enemy team having a good amount of CC that can stun you, silence you, cripple you is absolutely terrifying because oftentimes you want your jump back um, and if you don't get it and then yeah you will end up dying quite a bit as well so either understand um, when you can jump in freely or yeah nice kill here on the Medusa or um, don't jump or make sure that they <laughs> Uh, don't don't think you will jump. You know what I mean? Like, just be considerate about your jump. Uh, there is the beat from the upper. I did want to jump here, but got silenced by the Nux. On the other hand, that gives me a bit of the possibility to maybe go a bit deeper. That is a good amount of damage, though. I'm in an awkward situation. I am between Apua and Nox. On the other hand, they are also probably a bit bothered by me here. <laughs> we do have the... Um, magical defense online so we should be able to be a menace to them quite a bit we end up damaging the aqua a good amount and he should fall here yeah he does um good job by the sun wukong as well i i don't think necessarily uh <laughs> like i was pretty certain we got the kill anyways but yeah getting that little bit of help there is is worth it yeah, we just go for uh, the tower instead. No need to, to kill her early, like, it's okay. Um, yeah, just getting some hope. Get the jump back here. Um, we do hit the ultimate here on Nox. She should die. And she does. Uh, awesome. As you can see, the Medusa are already very low as well. Getting a bit greedy here. Unfortunately, I end up missing the one at uh, the two. She gets her um, dash off before that, so. Yeah, it happens. But now we are at it again. She uses her ultimate. This is too much, and I misplayed. So, yeah. She really caught me off guard with that and ends up with obliterating me. Too greedy on my part, but it happens, so it's okay. Yeah, uh, the Freya still not feeding it. <laughs> still trying to surrender. Yeah, she's just not finding him into the game again. Um, and I don't know, like, if now we also got their first tower, which is um, obviously awesome. And I think it goes to show as long as we don't get wiped by them, it, it's not too big of a deal, right? It's okay if um, we die here, like me and Freya and Matikoros or something, I don't know. As long as there's always somebody alive who can defend the, the Phoenix, it feels like they are not willing to really die for the Phoenix yet. And therefore, um, now we're all up again, now we can get a team fight going hopefully um, end up killing them and get the second tower like that's gotta be our goal now to slowly um fight our way back into the game this is good though what they do here yeah they separate us nicely here <laughs> um very unfortunate yeah the Cthulhu old into the aqua old no no chance i go in there um half health i would have died for sure um, better to, to try to stay safe here. And yeah, that's exactly what you want to do then. Um, <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, but that's exactly what you want to do. Um, make sure that you don't just kill yourself for no reason. And rather stay safe. And yeah, we got the trade, we got the kill on Medusa. She's the most important character for them in that situation as well. Um because she does the most damage to the um <laughs> yeah wukong you you jinxed it <laughs> you jinxed it he was just praising me too much and then i i misplayed and got killed by the by the nox i think <laughs> now but what i was about to say with the medusa um she does the most damage to the phoenix so getting her out of the um 
Fight there, definitely big thing, uh, a big win for us. But yeah, as you can tell, it's going pretty well for us so far. Um, and with us, I mean, uh, me or you and me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, yeah, 10, 10 and 5 as a KD. Definitely, definitely not too shabby. Um, got half of the team's kills. I don't think we are very, like, I don't think we are ahead when it comes to damage anymore, but... Yeah, still, like, that that is a decent, decent game from us. The 5 stabs also not too bad. You have to keep in mind at the end of the day, you are a very aggressive what was going on there with my jump? That looked a bit awkward. <laughs> it's okay, we get out with the beats. Um, eat a lot of damage though. Good thing is the Freyak does get the kill here on the Medusa, so it was worth it, I suppose. I would say so. Jump in. Unfortunately, we hit nothing. We do hit the ultimate um, force up, but use his speed, so that's good. Um, he tries to kill me here, but ends up falling himself in the process. Um, ooh, too much damage coming through. Yeah, unfortunate. Um, don't think my team could have done a whole lot there to prevent it, honestly. Um, yeah, it's okay. Oof, but he caress also 311. He's not doing a lot better. Um, like, he's also struggling, is what I mean. Um, 2-8 for the Freya. Yeah, they, they have a rough time. Um, but overall, we still have our Phoenix, and we don't lose these, um, team fights completely. It feels like they are pretty even, uh, still, so, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know about the ulti, Matikaras. I feel like it, it's something, either you use it when somebody is close to dying or almost getting away or something, or when you are like almost dying and need to, to get up in the air and make sure you're safe for a little while, then you want to use it, but just for poke, I, I feel like that's not worth it. And he ends up falling here, so... Yeah, just a little something that uh, came to my mind seeing this here. It's only Wukong. Yeah, behind me is Freya as well. Um, they try to. Yeah, I missed the cat here. That's a bit unfortunate. But we hit our two, so we get the kill. Ah, uh, she barely steps aside from my ultimate. Yeah, as I said, like not not my best ultimate. Not my best ultimates in this game. Not quite sure what I'm doing. Um with some of those, but it's okay. Um, maybe a, uh, quickly um, in regards to the items that we bought. Um, for the most part, damage, um, some, some penetration, some um, anti-heal, that kind of stuff, uh, cooldown reduction, and one defense item, uh, magical defense. Um, that whenever we get hit by a magical um, damaging ability, um, our cooldowns get reduced. Um, so, yeah. Okay, Freya wasting her ultimate here as well, unfortunately. Do hit the ultimate on the Aqua. He uses the beats again. Um, otherwise, there's no other explanation to this, let me put it that way. Um, yeah, it's a one-for-one -one trade here. Um, now getting some poke on the Cthulhu. Maybe also not quite worth it. Maybe I should have gotten for the Nux, but it's okay. We kill her here and then go for the Cthulhu. Give him the two. As you can see, we're doing not a whole lot to him. Um, I actually gotta help more here. I thought we would have killed him with the two, as you could tell. Uh, but no, I, I had to actually help my boy a bit more, otherwise he he almost died because of, because of me. But as you can see, Freya still like, please surrender, we can't win. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, like, we just literally, uh, 
were better. Like we ended up having three kills now, four kills in this team fight. We get the tower and then she wants me to surrender. I I, I don't think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And we also get the kill here. Um, unfortunately, he gets killed by the Phoenix. Don't think we have a lot to do here anymore, especially if I miss my two. <laughs> okay, Aqua trying to... Yeah, okay. He gets the kill onto me. That's fine. Not a big deal. Mukang being a bit confident here, as you can see, stick with me and we will win. Totally fine though. Like he is, he's playing really well. Not don't uh, don't get me wrong. He's he's doing a really good game as well. I think our Maui is pretty good as well. Um, he did miss one or two ultimates, but to be fair, so did I. <laughs> and I I would argue my game isn't too bad either. So it happens. You never miss uh, hit every um every ability, but yeah. So now she's getting bored of our Freya and is like, uh, can we surrender because I'm, I'm bored? No, we are not. You don't want to surrender because you're bored. <laughs> it's because you struggle in this game, which is also valid. I understand that you want to <laughs> surrender, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm not shit talking her or anything. I'm just saying this is not the reason. It's not because you are bored. <laughs> we get a nice kill here on the Medusa. The ultimate, unfortunately, I don't know what I did there. Um, speaking of missing ultimates, uh, we get the kill here as well on the Nox. He should fall as well in a second. And he does for sure. Yeah, um, really good fight for us. A uh, good amount of damage here also on the Cthulhu. He ends up falling. And there we go. Um, almost. Uh, wipe their complete team <laughs> without any of us uh, dying so yeah this is a perfect showcase of why you shouldn't surrender like immediately sometimes um i don't know i get it though i sometimes have the same urge to be like yeah let's surrender this when i struggle so yeah i get it we should get the phoenix here and we sure do um unfortunate mod unfortunately mod he got a bit greedy we get the kill on the medusa though so that's uh awesome um we gotta be a bit careful here they both ate a bit of damage yeah i, I think they saw maui yeah yeah they did <laughs> not gonna work um nice idea though um being a bit uh sneaky here but yeah now nah, we, we're not going to surrender <laughs> yeah it doesn't make any sense now to, to take this fight um not before we didn't heal up a bit or get a pick ourselves but oh she looks so juicy look at uh he looks so juicy fuff and that's exactly who we go for yeah if, if you see some like somebody like him there with Oh, these are so little half you just kind of want to jump in their faces, right? Um, but yeah, nice. Awesome. We end up getting all the kills here. We get the stun and he's done. He's just like, okay, yeah, kill me, please. I, I had enough of this. We get the Medusa ultimate in the face, which is not necessarily something I'm, I'm aiming for whenever I play Smite. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, yeah, they, she gets killed as well. Our minions walk in and... We end up killing the Titan. So, yeah, we end up winning the game. Um, definitely a fun game, in my opinion. Um, we got 17 kills. <laughs> 17 kills, uh, 7 deaths. Um, as I said, we it's a case um, as an assassin to maybe die a bit more than on other characters, I feel like. Um, you want to be in their face sometimes. And... Being in their face and diving them oftentimes also means that you might get caught out of position, right? Important is that you still end up making good plays, that you also get some picks that uh, are relevant and everything. And that's exactly what we did. I, I'm, I would totally say we had some really good um, picks in this game where we 
talk about the Medusa in very important moments or the Aqua or whatsoever. Sun Wukong and Maui playing really well as, um, as well. And yeah, glad it worked out at the end of the day. We got 39,000 damage, the most um, of our team at least. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.